Hi, I'm Dr. Mikhail Latar, a general surgery resident at the University of Chicago Medical Center, North Shore University Health System. On behalf of Dr. Yujiki and all of our co-authors, I would like to thank JAX for allowing us to share our research on the use of mesh in elective hernia repair. Hernia repair is one of the most common operations performed worldwide. Currently, the use of mesh is recommended in most situations, primarily because studies have shown a lower rate of recurrence with mesh. However, the use of mesh is not without complication, which can include bothersome mesh sensation, mesh infection, and chronic pain. This has led to negative media coverage of mesh, and many patients are fearful of its use. The purpose of our study was to report our institutional experience in performing abdominal wall hernia repair with mesh. We conducted a retrospective review of a prospectively maintained quality database. This included patients who underwent inguinal, umbilical, incisional, and any other ventral hernia repair with mesh. Patients also received two quality of life questionnaires, the Surgical Outcomes Measurement System, or SOMS, and the Carolinas Comfort Scale, or CCS. During the study period, 6,387 patients underwent abdominal hernia repair with mesh at our institution. The majority of patients underwent inguinal hernia repair. We found rates of mesh infection varied by hernia type with lower rates after umbilical and inguinal repair and highest rates after incisional repair. Similarly, mesh explantation rates were low after umbilical and inguinal repair and highest after incisional repair. Next, we analyzed patient SOMS quality of life scores postoperatively compared to their preoperative scores. We found that mean scores in the domains of pain impact, pain quality, pain visual analog scale, and fatigue, in which lower scores are better, were significantly decreased at most time points postoperatively. Additionally, in terms of satisfaction, in which higher scores are better, we found increasing levels of satisfaction over time, which was maintained up to five years postoperatively. On the Carolinas Comfort Scale, we found that the minority of patients report severe or disabling symptoms, especially at time points six months postoperatively or later. This figure shows a graphical representation of scores. We find that at five years postoperatively, 6.8% of patients report moderate or daily symptoms, while 93.2% of patients have none or non-daily symptoms. To specifically investigate patients reporting negative symptoms associated with mesh, we separated our cohort into those reporting bothersome mesh sensation, which we defined as a CCS mesh sensation score greater than one at any time point greater than six months after surgery, and those with no bothersome symptoms. We then performed a multivariable logistic regression analysis to identify predictors for bothersome mesh sensation. We found that patients who were younger, female, underwent incisional repair, underwent repair with surgeon A, and had longer operations were more likely to report bothersome mesh sensation. In conclusion, the main results of our study are that elective abdominal wall hernia repair with mesh results in a variable rate of mesh-related complications based on hernia type, with the highest rates of complications after incisional hernia repair. However, patients report satisfaction with surgery and good health-related quality of life at long-term follow-up. Finally, on multivariable regression analysis, we found that patients who are younger, female, undergo incisional repair and have longer operations are more likely to report bothersome mesh sensation postoperatively.